<laughs> oh, I turned stuff off. Whoops. Alerts are on. Turn that stupid thing on. I think I got everything covered. Throw this up. Pull this back. Not that, this, that. This, that, this, and that. Dang. Gedgen, you okay, son? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's what it is. Haha. -ha. Let's see. Um, let me go accept quests here, and then I'm going to do my daily stuff. It's cold. And I'm just going to go ahead and blaze through the text. Quest acquired. Another quest somewhere back here. Hi, Sucrose. So kid's dad is somewhere lost in the mountain. Everybody else got their quest taken care of? Good? Great. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to steal your wares. I mean... Okay, that was a good bow. At least a serviceable bow. And then... Man. You really just want me to, like, start grabbing things. You really just want me to start powering up my trinkets, don't you? Okay. Well, let's do it this way. Apparently, I've got some achievables. Notices. Update summary. Why does that sound so loud compared to everything else? Uh, claim all. Okay. So, I got that. Let's go do dailies. Maybe I should look for my dailies first. A surprise. Got it. Here, guide me towards the quest. Also, don't mind me. Here's freaking... There is a mustache here. That seems to think that it belongs on the inside of my mouth. Alright, anyway. That's handled. Anyway, get some of my dailies done. Then I guess I should finally look, see about clearing out my quest log. Because I think I am two updates behind. I'm two updates behind and I'm still and I'm still adventure. Huh. Interesting. What's this? Oh. Hey Far. Thanks. Far, thank you for resubbing. That is 34 months, good lord. Almost to the big three. Go, moving on. Goddamn. Yeah, that's something that's just a little eye opening, Farf. You've been sub to me for three years almost at this point, and you've been my first sub. 
weird how time flows. Hello, that's a new quest. Yada yada, so on and so forth. I'll help. Cool, now we had her to. Oh, that's you, shiny. Did you hide a bow up here? Oh. I started a quest apparently. Am I doing this guy's quest? I did not read his quest log. I did not read his quest in, in its entirety. Or they just added a random chest to the overworld. Okay. We're just we're just shoving chests into the world. Not help. Oh, oh, is my, oh my, we may have to go into a bit of a dark time. I'm noticing that my uh, chat is not appearing here unless I just turned it off. Hold on a second. Hannah, I will make you better. No, I just have it turned off. Haha, <laughs> I am the dumb. It's small beans. I got monies. I got, as they say, le chamonai. I'm not gonna lie, this feels kind of surreal, like, it's, it feels kind of surreal that I'm streaming again, because, like, if anybody watching the VOD or really jumps in the middle of a conversation or whatnot, I haven't streamed since, like, December 15th or something like that. So it's kind of surreal that I'm streaming again after so long of not even touching, like, not even tr trying to. And again, I, apolo I again, I apologize that I had to go on that mini hiatus, but you can kind of see who <laughs> you can kind of see with uh you you can see now that the top ten video is is out and done, and also sorry, I'm reading this very little. Okay, no, I'm not. The top ten video got done and it's pushed out. And that was, like, the big thing I was worried about getting done. That was, like, the really big thing I was worried about getting done for the end of the year. And it didn't help that my that my work decided... Always, always, like, you know... Excuse me. Basically, the first week of November, up, up until Christmas 20... Or Christmas. Up until Christmas 23rd, yes. Christmas 23rd is now an official holiday. Up until uh, December 23rd is just like work, 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 work. You're not working enough hours. Work, work double hours. You're not working enough hours as is. You're working Saturday too. So compound work, com compound uh, 55 ish hour work weeks on top of trying to stream and make a and do my normal video stuff. And trying to put together, and try and put together a bonus, a kind of a bonus big production, big production video on top of all that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I had to cut something out, and unfortunately it was streaming. Oh, dang it. Uh,
burn your shield. I don't care about the others. Lose your shield. That's nice. Dang it. Go away. I said go away. God damn. But also my, uh, in my bid to at least get a little bit of footage of Genshin Impact for that video. Uh, I have Diona now. You know, a good bow unit. <laughs> thus, uh, thus continues, continue to emphasize the fact of my team of I will never die. Uh, D spawn, D spawn. Oh, Amber. What a sad day when you have to get, when you are replaced by what is effectively Lolly Cat Girl. Everything wrong. Okay, that's fine. I've got a shield. Like, unfortunately, I think bows are just kind of an inferior damage type, but I won't lie. I much prefer using a bow. I much prefer using a bow to, uh, to using a spell book, I think. Because, yeah, spell books work. They, they do work. They do damage, you know, yada, yada. But a bow, I feel like, you know, if I can get... Oh, nope, someone doesn't like me over there. Haha, <laughs> he's going to run me down. Yeah, like, you know, the bow is good for, yeah, well, like you said, like, ancient machine bosses. Because, you know, oh, I missed. Are you? Don't throw a rock at me. You know, headshots. You're open. Now nah, you're open. I missed his head. Okay, you can have it. Hey, look, I'm not dying. You should do better at that whole aiming thing. Hi, how's it going? You missed. Cool. 
Man, your head's gotta be sore. You're open. You're open. But yeah, so... I make a shield for myself. But yeah, I make a shield for myself, and the alt is AoE heal. But listen, nothing's gonna really... Nothing's really gonna outclass Noel, unfortunately. It's definitely not because I've given her... It's not definitely not because I've given Noel, you know, oodles and oodles of experience orbs and up power for stuff. Hello, Degrox. Okay. Oh wait, I uh, I remember. I think this was something I could have done, but I couldn't do because I didn't have a bow. Something I didn't do for a while because I didn't have a bow. At least not an actively used bow. Ice works with this, right? Huh. Guess the only way to farm this is with fire. There you are. Pew pew pew! Why do you run? Damage. Look at me, mom. I'm doing damage. Hit me. You won't. It's like. That arrow's just gone. Okay, now that's done. Uh, actually, that's done. I should actually report back to Mondstadt, get my stuff, get my Adventure Guild stuff, and then I can move on to questing. Hooray, questing. But yes, as I was saying earlier to others, first stream, f first stream back, first, first stream of the year, first first day back streaming in like two three weeks how is everyone how how do how go thing go let's see clam the money and get yourself back out there go ahead and go on your expedition Shinkui, stay out there. AKA Christina V, stay out there. <laughs> the things you find out when you follow voice actors of people who do things. Uh, Amber. And at least stay out there. I could throw Barbara out there in the field now, actually, because I'm not using her anymore. All right. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna 
I'm going to kind of work back from... I'm going to kind of work backwards. Because I should do this to fill this map in. But this is stuff I need to do here, so... Isn't there a teleport? Yeah, there's a tele there's several teleports in Layu. Why did it man? Man. But yeah, I am several I am several updates behind everybody on this game, so I guess I'm now I guess I'm currently playing catch up with everybody who is basically up to speed and is in officially in the grinding mode of this game or grinding phase of this game. Whereas me, I'm still doing quests. Like, basic quests. Ooh, observation point. Oh yeah, I will say, I did get, I did actually get a five star recent, uh, recently in this game. It wasn't a character. It was Diana's bow. Hooray for weapons being on the on the character roll table. I played Dragalia. I'm used to this at this point. Welcome, friend of child, and congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only that Tsaritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. All right, I can do this. Back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. And the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one. Ahem. There are two styles of cooking in Leoli, known as Li style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. The flagship restaurant of the Li style is the Leoli Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyun Slope so they could compete with the Shinue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. You're like this every time we talk about food. Don't talk to Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. Where does it all go? We talk about food. We talk about food, you want food, and suddenly... You eat your fair share, share, and yet, where does it all go? Damn you, celestial beings. Oh, child, you're back. Kyo! Hi. Aha, you made it. As promised, I found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery why the Liu Chising would hide the Jiu Archon's vessel. So, where is he? In Liu Li Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liu custom. Oh boy, free dinner. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Oh. Is this the guy that keep calling Chalk Dad? Or was that the guy in the Dragon Spy Mountain? <sighs> Hi. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. I'm gonna let you guys 
go along with this as best I can. I just heard an update from my Echo Dot. I'm kind of curious to see what it is, so I'm going to go ask what what is going on. Indeed. Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. Time. Oh, I told you to go on auto, stupid thing. Well, and we, I'm probably gonna be running outside here quick to grab a some mail for friends. So the walk in the shadows. shadows. Hopefully, the cutscene will play out for you. Walk in the shadows. Without me having to input. It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Discretion. Shadows. <sighs> is Wangshan some kind of business involving dealing? With people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <sighs> the Wongsheng Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. Huh? <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wongsheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Well, oh, hey, look, I mean, just time for a dialogue option. Well, they are still, uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. But first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. Archons go by many names. The god of contracts, the god of commerce, the god of war, Morax, Rex Lapis. Is the idea that he also has the title of Adeptus so strange? As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm listening to the cutscene, but I'm also looking at my guy. Bas okay. I basically found Bayonetta 2, the Switch version, with the Bayonetta download code. And I'm looking at the back, and I'm, sm I'm smirking because... I think this is a I think this is a European version of the game. Cause it has Peggy 18 on the back. <laughs> Violence. Bad language. But I think before I do something with this, I need to clear up more space on my switch or I need to buy a memory card upgrade because this game the Bayonetta one's not gonna the Bayonetta one download is not gonna fit. Be aside or not, the concern of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? A wise decision. The Tianchuan Ning Guang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting 
Will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again? If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. I feel like I activated a major cutscene and just walked away and through halfway All right, through it. My bridge building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. Oh, chopsticks. I still can't properly use those things. So, I should ask. Something like, because I do have the stuff for it. Do you, wanna, do you want me to do a couple of rolls here tonight? Or, I don't know how many rolls I have available to me. All of my stuff is charged. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? I actually don't care about either. Liyue is very... is super contrasty. You have smugglers and goons uh, intermingling with people who are super hoity-toity. Mondstadt is, is way too laid back. I don't like either place. Indeed. The weight of 3,700 years worth of history runs deepest in the true divinity of Liyue. I put you on auto. Oh, of the seven nations defended by deities well that sucks that that happened actually but please such, do the mean, diplomatic please take your time with that have gained Don't. no purchase here ming wang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the fatui that is I'll in all likely speak my mind on that matter in just a second i'll let zone the finish. funeral parlors connections anyway Yeah, don't, especially if you are close, you know, don't try and rush through that or act like nothing's, everything's normal. As long as you are, as long as you're will, as long as you are able to kind of, able to get yourself distance from that. Like, last year my grandmother passed and unfortunately I had lost con, just out of, basically from me not putting forth the effort as much, I didn't really have, I unfortunately lost a lot of connection with her. So when she did pass, her, I unfortunately had no emotion to really show for that. But if you were close to your grandfather, you know, definitely take the time to mourn. Huh. What would child get out of us doing the rite of farting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Okay, I have to get a gem. Also, that's a new quest. Give me your quest. You're a minor quest, I don't care. Okay, minor quest over, let's go. I say minor quest over. Zero ha or scooter having zero regard for for quests in uh in a game? Pisha, you just no. Welcome I don't. to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here for um what was it again? 
Pardon. Not to Lucas Jade, of radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, not to Lucas Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. Can I have like five? What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. Hey. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. Please if decide. For me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be. I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. It's fine. Take them all. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? I'll be prophetic. All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. Is this how the rich live? Well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Nocta Lucas Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Nocta Lucas Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. Fair if you enough. turn to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. And a true insider would know it. Are you that true a insider? Fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only <laughs> see the bits. So the patterns, the facade. These are all the finger. Nocta Lucas Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness. And so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Uh, includes using pickles. Uh, I wasn't sure what to name it. There's some kind of yeast and dill pickle juice. I was thinking of calling it dildo. You almost got me. You almost got me. Like, half a syllable away. <laughs> I just feel like that's sourdough with extra steps, but hey, that could be me. Not the Lucas Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the Jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. But anyway, thank you so much for the bits on top of that. Holy cow, that is a lot of bits. I it Right over my head how much what that was. Thank you for all those bits. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? I'm not buying any. Uh, if that if you do that. Uh, come, come now, my good friends. We can Still discuss this. Negotiation is key to trade, wouldn't you say? Uh, how about this? I can take a small sample of all three. 
I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. Now what we do right. is we burn them. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. <laughs> oh, you flattered me, but I have to be gentle with these rocks. They are my pride and joy. If I'd taken off even a bit more, it, <laughs> it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. No, it was funny. I'm just, uh... I'm just pretty sure that if I spell it out phonetically with my words, something... A bot may, gl may grab onto that and try and drag me down through the mud. I don't know. I know Twitch isn't as strict about this kind of thing, but I'm still, I'm still going to be careful. Where am I going? Oh lord. Oh lord, he going. So it's up and behind this place. It's been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Translation. Uh, Venti got Zhongli smashed. We can fix that. About it, they'll be fine. There's still soup in the air. These hilly churls sure have big appetites. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. I'm gonna throw rocks in. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Fire? I can do fire. Uh, Booba.
Well, it doesn't reset. That's good. Booba, burn it. You seem to be having a problem staying on the rocks. Oh, he's dead. How are you still alive? Burn it. I think you would know this after after doing it forever for a while, huh? Come on, Paimon. You're better than this. I know you are. Okay, not much better, but you're better than this. Just heal it off. Passive healing ability, baby. No. No. Into the pot with you. You missed? You missed the pot. I don't know if you happen to notice that, but you missed the pot with your body. Would you like to try again? Go into the soup. Mmm, delicious. One more. There we go. Are we actually going back? Do I have to get in here and grab this stuff? No, I don't. Okay. Back to Lue. Leu? Le. Le. Lo. Li. Lo. Li. La. Li. Lo. Lo. La. Le. Li. Le. Lu. Lo. Why do? Why does it sound like a? Why does it sound like? Speaking practices. I'm back. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Exactly. That's the one Paimon remembers too. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. All the same, uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus Jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. 
Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Really? Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchants such as yourself, I, for one, believe that Liyue will continue to prosper, as it always has done. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. Oh, wait. Didn't Child give us some advance? <sighs> That's a relief. Have a look. Line got cut off. They read it too long. It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be all right even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Hmm. It seems that we must. I will keep that in mind. Thanks, both of you. Thanks. Thanks, Zhongling, for Zhongli for puppy. Puppies. I need a pet button. Okay, I'm good. That's a Nuki statue? No, it's just. There we go. Hi, kitty. I'm so sorry to do this. Yes, I'm a dog person, but not but not so much by choice. Cats are fine, just that their dander has it has this unique ability to kill me in about 30 seconds. Okay, close to 30 minutes, but still. Oops, I'm underneath. I'm under the rock. Listen, am I going the wrong way if I'm still getting there? Button, button, who has we the button? Can leave I have the, the button. Here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Okay, but we should uh, probably stay by just yes. in case. I have yet to go and see child. So as for the jewelsmith's remuneration. Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the right of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location. And have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. The Liu Chixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Oh yeah, I did a stealth also, segment. the, uh, Rex Lapis vessel 
Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Oh, right. Right, the Exodia. You seem to know everything, no, wait. Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, Dead. was this Exuvia hidden away by the Qixing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Don't help the Before cops, we the don't need it. Conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow. Money, 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 oh, money. I want it. Since the right of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. <laughs> in Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again. Hey, Kasai. <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. We, you just got done saying there was no... Make up your mind! Am I buying stuff or am I not buying stuff, Zhongli? And touchdown. Hurt slightly. At the wrong spot. You can't beat the atmosphere here. It, oh, it's down below the dock itself. Haha. <laughs> hey, boss. Do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden housemaiden, valley weaver, and fate's yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Now then. Please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, 
that mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. I just pulled out the pot in the back, man. This I don't need to know all this. In any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Leo's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow, a true connoisseur. Most of that was news even to me. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Translation, Zhongli is smart. S-M-R-T, smart. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not Paimon squawks like case. a bird. The Can you buy Paimon? Does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled, a question. <clears throat> Do you have any Mora on you? Unfortunately, you yes. You forgot to bring money again? Oh, Zhong Li. Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the <coughs> Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. This guy's a lot nicer. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. You were the one who forgot to bring money. Please, it's the least I could do. Thank you for flowers. Well, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? We burn them. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. We burn them. Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately... None of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Oh boy. Maybe we can find Perfume detective. Where's this one? She's master of the Leeway branch, right? 
Sure, whatever you say, Paimon. Where is okay. Very, very far away. I debated on fast traveling. But I don't think it'll be necessary. Or viable anymore. I'm not going in there. You can't make me. Oh, wait. Uh. Hi. Lauren, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. She wears too much perfume. Do you smell amazing? So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no, they were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lan. See you around. Paimon, why are you smelling people? Paimon, I have so many questions for you, and unfortunately, I have all zero answers. Oop, hey, hey, yeah, take that. Hello, how may I help? We've come to ask you a question. Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere! Oh boy. We're gonna have to spend money to get this made. We didn't- we didn't avoid spending money in the long run. Wait. Where- where is? Very interconnected city. Hello. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? Could you use what your phrasing better, please, Yinyer? How do you say your name? Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition? Is that it? Sure. Paimon needs it. My emergency rations needs to be a good distraction. Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. 
sorry. Your story just doesn't hold water. Song Lee, I need you here. Song Lee was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes. Oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring. For come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Well, good to know you're crazy. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. Let's go for the kitchen at Wan Min Restaurant. They're going to need to sanitize this entire kitchen when we're done. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? Raising. I meant make me proud as my assistant, obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. I need an adult. Something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Uh, stuck. Jean, you're too tall. Also, give me that book. This water will do nicely. I'll find a bucket out back, ma'am. I need you to extract the silk flower essence. It might be rainwater. Bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Phrasing! Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Oh, going over this way. Oh, it's alchemy. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> alchemy. Craft that. Uh, did you have to drop all the way down? Also, I'm just looking here to see if I can make something for a weapon, potentially. I don't believe... Nope. I need to get more of this to make this, which I think is what I need for a weapon or somebody's level up stat. I forget what. Exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most the essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. 
Okay, I was about to say, I'm gonna. Booba's gonna end up burning the perfume. If I have to do this. Were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You suck. You know, you're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paimon wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. You made that up just now. <laughs> Come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? You made up that saying just now. I don't like her. She's a she's a bit of a harlot. <laughs> I'd use another word, but that's a but that's a no no word now. So saith Twitch overlords. I feel like that's what I feel like that's one of the last conversations I left you guys off with when I streamed back in December as well is just that whole those two or three words are big no-no words now despite the fact that almost everybody uses them ironically or for comedy purposes okay that's far away I need to just warp there Ah, Zhongli, you're here. We brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> Well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? No. Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? 
Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? Oh, boy. At present, a friend of mine named Madam Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why is he gotta be so secretive this time? Okay, he's uh... <laughs> So, two, th two, two possibilities here is that either A, Zhongli is actually Rex Lapis and the dragon was a hoax, or, excuse me, or uh, Zhongli has bad blood with Madame Ping. And if he were to ever meet Madame Ping, it would surely be his downfall. I don't need C for character. I need X for drop. Oh, that's a flower. My flower. Oh, it's you. Oh. So flowers. I picked these before. Didn't even cross my mind. Taking that. Oh, ah, I can't. All things must change. Hmm. Youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? I'm here to pick the flowers. Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted so if i pick them i can use them in crafting your speeds all right i'll take ten what happened to them back in my day people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts if they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing they would also bloom joyfully but if they heard too much wild gossip or slander they would quickly wither away. Well, I guess that makes sense. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They, some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. And welcome to Rumors 101. Any rumor is enough to throw the entire world into chaos. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? We have something we would like to borrow, borrow if we may. Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngsters might want. But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and I would pester him for that bell all the time. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I must not be loath to give it away. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when. It started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. We can go find That's it. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Oh, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. 
see this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. Huh. How does that work? <laughs> in you go. There's no way Paimon would fit in there. We're making it work. Get in the pot. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? But I can't fit inside Paimon. You can. Now get in the pot. Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. This granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? I got a Discord ping. Hang on. It is where? Discord ping? Okay, that's just gonna have to hold up. Anyway, touch the teapot. This is why you need to go in the pod, Paimon. Actually, I think I have an idea what's going on. Yep, I'm in there. Hmm. Okay. No, I don't know what that ping is. Um, where are we? Go away. What just Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch go the away. bell. Good thing Whoa. I brought up Archer. That sounds like Granny's voice. So this is her teapot? So if someone knocks it over, does it bleed? Uh, crap. Oh wait, you're, oh, no, I don't have it. Dang it. It seems I really haven't seen it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old man. Kind of teleported down, my friend. I don't know if anybody can really use these, but okay. So it's just this. Yeah, no, no, I can't talk. It's this. Yep, yeah, it's a series of trials. Go in the pit. Get in the hole. Also, don't call her grandma. She probably takes offense to that. Oh, God. Die or fly off the platform. Hey, don't run. Oh, shoot. Remove yourself. Spider Man, remove yourself.
Okay, you're causing problems, Frozen Slime. So you need to leave immediately. Oh my god. Leave. I would activate it, but it'd be kind of a gross misuse of my powers. It would also just be gross. There. Oh. It's no longer a gross misuse of my power. I would say, Paimon, you're thinking about make, making an infinite teapot, aren't you? Paimon, why is everything food to you? Some would say it's an endearing character trait. Me? Nah. Well, it's mine. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Grandma stuffed me in pot. I don't like it. Scooter out of context. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, uh, Paimon kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leela Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> They would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but... You can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. <laughs> I'm now imagining that in my head. Just if they don't return it, then I'll just be at their doorstep. Fast forward to 30 minutes later. Grandma wants her tea. Or her bell. Either one. Uh, 
I'm just picking a metric ton of silk flowers. Don't mind me. Maybe some glazed lilies too. Could be useful in the not so far future. Oh, lotus. Dang it. It's in the city. I, I was hoping we would warp. Doop, 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 doop. Oh. The jewel crafter's here. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking up kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. Listen, Paimon. We all have to make sacrifices here. I've sacrificed a lot of money. You get to be the kite. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Somebody has to be in our party to go buy the kite? I shouldn't say in our party, rather available for... Just take me to the Adventurer's Guild. Does it, does it say who? Uh, right, Adventurer's Guild. I ran away from the Adventurer's Guild. I'm bad with maps. I am, as they say, geographically challenged. Most people could find uh, northeast, south, and west and a very fine just by looking at the sun. <laughs> uh, good joke. Anyway, one of these aeons, I'll find it. As I've probably circled around it twice now. Yep. Add oh, I ranked up. At some point, I'll add ranked up. Add at <sighs> I don't know who, but I guess I don't care enough. It's probably Lisa or Amber. Oh. That wasn't okay. 
I have to do snapshots before I can... Damn it. Whatever. I guess right now I don't need the materials that badly. Book, book, book. Give me a book. I really have to find the one person in this district. I feel like I've talked to everybody almost, except for you. Hey, do you have a picture? I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna end up looking this up. Yeah, I've talked to everybody, okay. Looking it up. Quest is... And I, have to do, and I do have to look this up on my phone because... All right. Both the both the guides I've seen now basically want me to go and talk to you first. Oh, hey, a chest. Someone here.
Okay, let's talk to you. Where has Master gone this time? I was already at Granny. I was already talking to Granny. Honey, just call me. Your toy. Can't believe the bell got so Okay. So they shouldn't show both these quest markers. What they should do is what they should do for this is they should actually just have it go to Granny, Granny Shoe, and then come back up here to, to Zoo. Never mind. I can't. Apparently, there is another picture I need to do here. Okay, tea master. I need to find a tea master somewhere in the vicinity here. Oh god, you're gonna be up, aren't you? Another chest. What should I put in my I feel like I'm going circles. Yep. Jeez, frame rate. Nope, found him. Oh, thank God. Done deal. I delivered the pictures. A camera. I can. Huh. I cannot take snapshots in this game. Find gadgets. There, I looked at it. Are you happy now? Can I play the game now, Mom? <laughs> Let's see how far I can get into this quest. Oh wait, you got something sparkling back. Oh, never mind, it's the... Ah, sir, you're 
here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Longsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Huh. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once... <sighs> Yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow me. Hi, child. Thank you for showing up at the last minute. Hey, it's child! <laughs> no way. I was just passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How have they not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child. You are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Yeah, we got money. Let me tell you how it is. I don't need to hear your stories, man. Hi. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions. But I don't do anything clerical. You won't need to. Adventure. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000 mora. What say you? A most fair price. 
Yeah, let's just do it. I should. I have that on Pleasure reserve. doing business with you. Like, if I have the front most of the money, I've got the money. Right? Yeah, I've got... I just saw it down there. Yeah, I've got the money. I have the money necessary. Sorry. Sorry, Lon. day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um... Could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Nope. Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Hey, that's a good price. Anyone would work for this much, Mora. Listen, I'll just front the money if this is an issue. I'm climbing the want ad side. Who ties their hair like this? I realize it shows it in her character portrait, but who ties their hair like this? Bam bam looking at mother. <laughs> put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. 100% fine. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more after a single trip. How does that sound? Sure. Done. This is all you got? Uh, no can do. Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Oh, still no. Th th wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, get me a single chinkson flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. How does that sound? Guess we've got no choice. Great. I hit the wrong button. I should have it. I've, I've picked several of these, I think. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. With this chinks and flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. Thanks. It pays to, it, it pays to meticulously, I don't know if meticulously is the right word. It pays to spend, to be looking for goodies and pick them constantly. Hi, child. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way. Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming. Paimon, shut up. <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. I don't like that. What info do you need? Paimon. Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. Listen, I'm just trying to shut down the fact that I feel like I'm gonna get framed for robbing a bank. <laughs> Thank you, Zhongli. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. I mean, correct, but also... 
I don't want to go stealing money. Especially because we're kind of acting as the emissary for Mondstadt here. And also as the emissary for... Let's cat. I thought it was a rabbit. Also acting as the emissary for uh, the Seven as well. Longer legs move faster. <laughs> Okay, we are almost there. I was about to say, how far away is it and do I need to fly? Or do I need to teleport? Kiki! I saw her. It seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear? Coward. It's Kiki. She's short. Shut up, Shorty. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's that talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's a zombie. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Chi Chi? I thought it was Kiki. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? You know, Chi Chi is probably like 50, just that she's a zombie so she can't age. Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? <laughs> I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi Chi can get your medicine, but only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Paimon, you're being a Karen right now. Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Lyra, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Qinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Qinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Hi, Nera. I've met Chi Chi now. It's not Kiki like I thought. It's Chi Chi. Yeah, that, this might be a great character. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an Adepta Beast. 
Did you want to add anything else, or...? No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adepta beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a Coco Goat? It's Coco Goat. Do you not know a Coco Goat? Is that an abacus? That's an abacus. You. Can you reach any of this stuff, Chi Chi? Let me just push it closer to you. <laughs> Yeah, I know I, I know I made it as a bit that I would get Chi Chi as my first five star character. That never happened. But now I'm now I kinda want her as a character. <laughs> I think outside of Noel here, I think that's probably like the first character I've met where it's just like yeah, I like you a lot. Well, we're at the ballista. Oh, okay, there we go. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. It's a little broken. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers. He's not a Pokemon. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. All right. Handy dandy tool man. Where is that supply post? Found Here it. I'm taking all their goods too. Nothing can stop me. Yep. Wait. Pause. There is thing around here. I must acquire thing. Oh, yeah, another chest. Where is... I thought I saw a glimpse of it. It's going to be the top of the mountain, isn't it? Oh no, it's going to be inside of there. Hello! Hi, bye. You're not going to hit me up here. Stop trying.
Well, that was fun. <laughs> they all exploded. Anyway, it's just, uh... Don't see it. Which makes me think that it actually is in the basement here. Oh god. Oh, it is actually in the basement. Haha, be smart. Hi, bye. Good talk. There, I've learned the timing. Sort of, for that. Anyway, now that I've found the goodies and explored that place, I can actually go back to the ballista. And shoot a cocoa goat. Whatever the hell a cocoa goat is. Somebody's just gonna somebody's just gonna say, you know, cocoa goat. Yeah. I know that feel Nera. I made a lot of progress in this game. And then the winter months came along. And then I could and then I proceed I could proceed to use none of my time on this game. Anyway, we're back. We have the goods. I put okay, I was about to say, I pushed the button. Ah. These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over Fantastic. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? Shooting you. So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? I'm going to shoot a cocoa goat. Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, and nearly skewered one of our guys. Good. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it. It's a cocoa goat. It's a cocoa goat. I ain't gonna explain shit. <laughs> the next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive. Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Zhongli, you're gonna actually do something, or do I have to do it? Nope, I have to do it. Surprise! All right, you've, ang you've angered the maid. Goodbye. That was gonna hurt. Hi, how's it going? I can't shoot you. Okay. 
We'll play the game. Okay, bye. Now I have to get back up there. Oh, hey, look. You seem angry. Huh. You are angry. Hey, let's have a little discussion about this. No, I want a gene. Stand back up. You won't like it what happens. Okay, fine. Okay, so his hair doesn't count as part of his head. Noted. Stand up. Okay. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Okay, you're, you listen. You're not gonna kill me. As much as much as you would hope to do so, you cannot stop battle me. Well, everybody went down below. They'll come back up in a minute. ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Which means... The Paimon wouldn't go that far. <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Cocoa Goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. Maybe not, maybe not to a zombie. She's a Calico. Right, I'm flying in. Uh, uh, that stretch feels good. Oh, geez. I just realized what time it is. So we'll see how far we get in this quest, and I'm probably going to start wrapping things up here for tonight, because I just realized it is 9.30, and I should, well, it's almost 9.30, and I should probably be heading to or in bed sometime soon. Listen. Listen. She looks like a cat, and that's great, and that's adorable, but cat girls, but here's the problem. This hair. What does this hair do? Hi, Chi Chi. 
Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepti Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Oh, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. Chi Chi, what? I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Disgusting. Huh? I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know, as the Liu and Proper Goose, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No. Im impossible. Oh. Since Chi Chi took this pretty hard. Uh, if you have your login, uh, I'm assuming you talk about starting this game over. I'm pretty sure if you have your login information for your MiHoYo account. If you have your uh, login information for, for your MiHoYo account and you've done that on your PS4, I think you could, I think you just log in on the PC version under that account and everything should carry over. I think anyway. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Snake Man? Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Snake Papa? I meant that Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. Paima, that's a snake. It will kill you. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. All right, so White Snake is the best character now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Oh, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Oh, too bad that Chi Sing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> This is correct. No what shame. Do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Twenty minutes later. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's that sucks. Go go go, go go go! <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. Child, why does it feel like you told Chi Chi this to start with? I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Fubu Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Okay, sweetheart, you can have all the coconut milk you want. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 more. You just took off 10,000 more. You know what? I've got that much money in my back pocket. Zero difference from... Hmm. 2,900,000... Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. That lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang, your Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House? If not the Exuvia. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Been, I've been used. I've been used. Okay. All right. That's that. I think that's gonna. I will cap that off. Let's go grab our achievements and then we'll go. F firstly, spend our money. We'll go firstly spend our our premium currency. I'm gonna go make a wish. So I have one of these. Damn. <sighs> See, they keep offering up Albedo, but I don't need a different Geo person. I would like any one of these three characters. Also, apparently, the pre the best way to do this is to spend singles, cause four stars reset your your uh, pity rate. Like it is right now. God damn it, Kaya. I reset my pity. I could save it for official, but I don't really want that. Yes, I want those I want those three characters over the others. This is how bad I'm doing this. This is how bad it's gotten. Will I get any of them? No, I won't. I'm well aware I won't. In fact, I'll probably get another five-star weapon before I get any of them. No, 
hue change. Damn it. I was still looking to wish. And last one. Nope. Oh, well, that sucks. And I'm not going to spend... Well, I'm not going to spend the money, but also I just realized I, where I'm at. Right. Masterless. Masterless Stardust. Yes, I am spending way too much of my currency. I'm well aware. Okay, whatever. We're done there. Anyway. Did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me before I close off stream tonight? Um, just a reminder that unless something drastically changes, unless, unless something drastically changes, Thursday will be well, Thursday will will still be a stream night again. Cause hey, I'm done doing my top ten video, so I can spare I can spare. Well, I say spare the time. I can now uh, put forth the time to stream more often instead of using all that time to edit and record footage and all that junk. So Thursday night will be a stream night, but Thursday night is also a ring fit night. And it'll be weird because I think I've shown it before. In fact, I could probably pull up my switch and show the uh, routine. Act. If I turn on my switch, let me do it like this. All right. Goodbye, Genshin Impact. But anyway, my exercise routine has gotten a little excessive. A ring fit. Right, it's loud right now. Sorry. So, my exercise routine uh, has gotten a little excessive. I'm just going to flip between these two pictures for a little bit here. While I pull up the thing I'm going to need to do for raiding, because I'm a good, not that, because I'm a good raider. Um, basically, these that you're seeing here is what I do on... Every other day of the week when I'm working and every day when I don't go to work. And that number you see in the lower left corner is how many calories it burns. What I do in an adventure what I do in an adventure mode stream is like half of that. It's really weird when I put it into perspective. Anyway. So that's enough of that. We will come back to that. We'll come back to that in the future. Uh, Thursday, I, su I should say. But hey, let's go. Let's go raid somebody. So your options for this evening's raid. All right. Well, I'm not going to raid them if you choose it. But I'll let you guys, well, maybe I'll raid them up. They probably don't have anything set up. But a reminder that Games Done Quick is going on. So that's something I will give you the option for. But outside of that, uh, Proton John is doing some game clearing stuff. He's playing Castlevania Chronicles. Uh, Lethero is playing M Marvel 3. Scott Falco is playing VR Chat. Odd. And Kenny is playing Final Fantasy Record Keeper. So I'll run through the options again. We can go to Games Done Quick. Uh, Proton John, who's doing Castlevania Chronicles. Lethero playing Marvel 3. Scott Falco in VR Chat. And Kenny playing Final Fantasy Record Keeper. What is the vibe? If there is no vibe, I'll just let Auto Host take, take the wheel.
I'll leave it to me. Yeah, you know what? I'll let Alahost take it over at this point. So anyway. But yeah, everyone. I do want to thank you so much for stopping by this evening. I, uh... It was kind of weird to come back to streaming after not doing it for roughly three weeks. But hey, gotta knock that rust off somehow. And I can be back on my normal schedule of how I do content again. Hooray. Anyway, you folks have a good night. And I shall see you Thursday night for uh, Ring Fit. Oh, excuse me. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>